Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity. In this video session, we are going to understand how to import data into Excel file. There are many different type of formats are available. So one of the format is CSV format, which is comma separated values. That means the file has data separated by comma. Then there are format like TSV, which is tab separated value. Then you can have a custom format like it can be uh, separated by space. It can be separated by your semicolon, etc. So these all data types are available because there are various systems wherein from there you can export this data. Now it is important that in Excel we are able to import those data and work on that. So it's very important to understand how we can import this into Excel. We'll first try to import it from a comma separated value. So what I will do is click here. So import is available under a data section. Data you can say from text. Once you do data from text, it will import it from either CSV file or text file. First, let us import from the CSV file. So I'll click on this CSV. Once you do that, you will come across a text import wizard. So text import wizard will show you that. So the text wizard has determined that your data is delimited. So comma separated or tab separated or any other separation. So you have to select now choose next. So choose the type which is which it best describes your data, it is saying it is delimited like comma or tabs, etc. So we are saying delimited and you will see that it will give you a preview of the file. You can see it is separated by comma. See product and instrument separated by comma instrument and LTP separated by comma. So I'll say next. Now in the step two of three, it will give you what set of delimiters your data has. So it has comma. Once we click on comma, you can see that text has been separated by this vertical column. See, if you take space, it may not work. If you uh, take semicolon, it may not work because it is all separated by comma. And then we say next. And then what is the data format? So if you know of any data format, you can go uh, ahead and do. So it's a text format. I would say use the general for all but if you are very specific you can select a, a date and it gives you an option to not import also so as an example i don't want to import this product column so i can say don't import and in the next column this is let's say text column so i'll click on text let's say this column it is a uh, general we can say because it is all decimal and all I can say general by default it is general and we say finish and we say ok. So please note that even though it had a product type it has not been imported because we specifically asked it to be skipped and you can see these are the instruments the prices and changes. So because it has been exported from some other system and then you can do your analysis over here. Okay, Now we'll see how to import data from a source where the separation is not comma but different so let's say from text position text delimited it has identified and you can see that it has been separated by comma i want to skip the first four column rows i want to start importing from fifth row so you have an option to skip that also so we have we are saying start import at row number five and the delimiter is semicolon. See the once I have clicked on semicolon, it has vertical bar has come. Then next and let this column remain and we are not changing the type and I'll say finish. So you can see that the first four column rows have not come. But the issue with that is your headers have also not come. Now again, I will import the file from text but in this case, the delimiter is not comma, not semicolon. If you saw, those were standard. But now I have another file, positions dollar, and it is delimited. So like comma or tab, but it is not there. So you can see that product instrument are separated by dollar. We'll say next. So we don't see dollar here, tab, semicolon, comma, space. We don't see dollar anywhere. What we can do is we can click on others and we can give our own sign dollar. So if it's by dollar, next, and let, let it import everything. 
where you want to import i import let's say i want to import from here i can specify and i can say okay and you can see it has imported all the values